Good afternoon, Lace Jump, and I'm John. This is many a true dirt. Welcome back to Starfield. Where last time, well, as you can see, we made some pretty bloody major changes. I have captured my first ever ship. Having discovered, yes, it's much easier to hijack them on the ground than it is to disable and board them when they're floating around in space. And seriously, I love this brand new cockpit we've got. It's just absolutely cocky beautiful. Just, it looks like, well, not really Star Trek, but like, imagine a series that was a knockoff of Star Trek that still had a pretty damn decent budget behind it. Now, I'm going to be honest, though, it did come with certain problems and or complications, which is, uh, it's very small, which is to say, you know, uh, there's no captain's cabin or science lab or, or indeed, any beds whatsoever. We just all have to, you know, just sleep in these chairs and whatnot. And also, it does come with a handful of corpses. Uh, I've moved them down here so they're out the way, but I'm um, not 100% sure how we, like, you know, get rid of those. And most critically, uh, yes, because this was a pirate ship, it did kind of come with a handful of illegal goods. Here we go, black market antiquities. So, uh, okay, I've had a good chance to think about this, and uh, there's good news and bad news. The good news is uh, it's worth a lot of money, and I'm pretty sure I know who's going to buy it, because uh, back when we were visiting Mars, uh, the Trade Authority did indicate to me they were happy to handle slightly illegal purchases. But therein lies the problem, because yes, the only Trade Authority person I've run into so far was on Mars, and Mars is UC territory. And you see territory means that they've got cops circling the planet, scanning you the moment you arrive. So okay, plan number one, try and find a random wandering trade authority ship out in the middle of nowhere. Because when you travel to a system, I'm pretty sure it like re-rolls the random events occurring around each planet. So if I just travel between a handful of systems that have got a handful of planets, each one might spawn a trade ship. Okay, I just got back to Piazzi, and there's no one here but space cops, which is like literally the opposite of the people I wanted to run into, but that's fine, this is not UC territory, they have got no right to cocking scan me. Thanks for stopping. I have a really important question for you. Do you know the way to Uranus? Okay, I'm increasingly suspicious, this space cop may not be taking things entirely seriously. And though I feel like I may be being set up for a joke here, yes I do, the soul system is one jump in that direction, it's pretty close by to where you are, you see Rambler. I sure hope so. It's right behind you. Smell you later. Okay, so we did know some of the UC Vanguard were just, yes, volunteers. It feels like some of them are not taking their duties that seriously. Oh, hello! I just showed up in- Oh, blimey! Okay, hang on, hang on, I, I've just shown up, you know, at, at Bessel. Something's definitely going on, actually. So, hello- I, I'm gonna help out, I'm just gonna help out, because someone else appears to be- Who the cock is here? There's you, see, there's you guys. Take them out, I'm gonna help. I just assisted. You're all very welcome. Well, that's, like, fight, that's for sure. Yeah, yes, I'm willing to acknowledge, just please don't scan me. We weren't expecting the ecliptic to have such a presence here. I have a lot of my crew over here. I want to send a heartfelt thanks. Any way we can repay you? Okay, so uh, repair parts, credits, salvage rights. I'll take some money, sure, why not? You bet. Here's some credits. We gotta resume our patrol. Stay safe. All right, not just that, but presumably, yep, they don't seem interested in the various bits and pieces, and... Okay, I can take the money, but I can't take the lithium, because... Yes, um, to add to the list of problems with this ship, sorry, this, this ship, though it is gorgeous and I love the cockpit, it does have issues. Such as, for example, yes, it would appear that the entirety of what was in my hold of my first ship has transferred over to the new one, meaning... I'm like several hundred kilograms at over capacity, not sure like where the stuff is being stored, but okay, there is a benefit to this, which is, uh, didn't notice this till after the end of last episode, uh, I've got a certain amount of shielded capacity, i.e. I believe uh, if I keep my, yeah, cargo under that level, uh, even if it does get scanned, uh, nothing bad happens, so okay. If I can't find a trade authority ship moseying around doing its own business, I do have an even stupider backup plan. 
which is the game is saying I'm not allowed to pick up any more stuff because my cargo holder is over capacity. That's a hard cap. But guess what doesn't have a hard cap? That's right, my capacity. So if I just arrange my cargo capacity by weight and then just start, yes, deciding to, you know, take it into my own personal here. capacity instead. I think Sarah's complaining in the background there, marvellous. There we go, my ship mass is now below capacity. I, however, am over my cap, but that doesn't actually matter. Because I'm sitting down, I'm flying the ship, it's absolutely a-okay. And that means the lithium in the ship parts can now be grabbed, lovely. And now we just keep pulling giant piles of lead, palladium, tetrafluorides, etc. out of the hold. And here we go, just keep taking more stuff out of the cargo. So now that's down to 183 within the shielded capacity, even though admittedly I am, you know, more than a bit overweight right now. And now we just put the crime briefcase into the holds. And nobody will suspect a thing. So here we go, just nipping over to Mars, set course, nice and casual, do not worry about anything. I appreciate I'm flying a pirate ship, but like, we have reclaimed it from pirates. Like, in many ways, you should be paying me for this. This is United Colony Space. Maintain current course while we scan for contraband. 59%. Come on, come on, little shit. Scan complete. You're clear to land. Oh, you stupid bastards. I really hope we're not on open channel right now, because otherwise, yes, they might be a bit suspicious about that. Right. We've done it. We've snuck past the bloody space police. Right, back to Sidonia. Now, do I need to sell this to, yes, the lovely Irish lady, who did specifically say she handled uh, the stolen goods, uh, or will any trade authority kiosk be willing to do business with me? And... John, did you just leave the highly illegal goods in the ship? I'll be right back. This is my first time smuggling, okay? It's all kind of new to me. Okay, one... Not the most impressive price in the world, but I guess I've not invested in, you know, any of the perks related to buying or selling, so uh, that's fairly reasonable. Two, on the other hand, he is willing to buy it. And three, on the other other hand, uh, apparently you could sell from the ship infantry, so I didn't need to go and get that. Oh, and I'm glad I remembered while we were passing by Mars, yes. The marine barracks, they've got like all the work tables down here in the residential bit of Mars, and... Uh, Given I'm, you know, literally carrying around all my supplies on me anyway right now, and I just picked up some titanium. Oh, there she is. The tactical stock for my shotgun. Beautiful. And okay, we're not ready for explosive rounds yet. Need, yes, magazine and battery mods too for that, but okay. Based on my experience with Fallout 4, and it feels like this game shares a lot of DNA with Fallout 4, Explosive guns are, are basically murder machines. This is worth going towards. Oh, but here's something I didn't think about till right now. So, uh, Sir Livingston's pistol that my dad gave me, that I have been to date mostly ignoring, I definitely shouldn't be. Because apparently, with just a muzzle mods one, which I've got, and a handful of resources uh, that I've got too, uh, bloody hell, that is now silenced. And that is, okay, that's ridiculously powerful for a silenced weapon. Plus, it does just look pretty badass too. So, okay, this we might be able to get some use out of or so. I'm so sorry I completely missed your shop last time I was passing by, Jane. Oh, I am glad I just happened to notice you on the way past because... Oh, please tell me you're selling. She sells titanium. She sells so much titanium and it's cocky cheap. Okay, Jane, me and you, we can be friends. I feel like we could do some business and uh, I'm not sure what your issue is. Possibly you were saying it when I walked past you and I missed it previously. Are you willing to help out? Because you just sold me a lot of titanium for basically nothing. You have no idea. Every time I feel like I'm getting ahead, something happens to knock me back down. But unless you're some sort of merc, I'm not sure you can help. See... I saved up to get a new ship and hire a pilot. He was supposed to help run deliveries and bring in all sorts of new goods, but he went missing. I can't find anyone willing to track him down. I'm worried something bad has happened. Oh Jane, I have got good news for you, because I've just crafted uh, some new gun mods uh, and I want to give them a cocking go. 
Though, yes indeed. Like, there is police floating around here. This is a UC colony. Surely some of the many soldiers around here should be helping you with this. If all else fails, I'm probably going to, but I'd rather not. That ship? I bought it from a sketchy dealer because it was all I could afford. Seemed too good to be true. I'm not sure now it was entirely legit. So, you see the problem with contacting Sistef. Having literally just had to smuggle goods past border security and flying a ship that isn't actually registered yet, yes, I do understand the problem, sure. You know what? You just sold me good stuff, and on top of that, me and you seem to have similar problems in life. I will do it. I'll try to compensate you as best I can when you bring back Eric and my ship. It's a cargo runner called the Berry Mule. The last signal I got from him was out near Triton. It's a starting place, at least. And try to bring them both back in one piece. Okay, no promises. Murder is kind of what I'm good at, and... Uh, start up stopped. Okay, we've got a new mission, and... Uh, okay, I need to get back to my ship, by the way, because, um... Uh, yes, like, right now, every time I move, uh, I'm losing oxygen. Which, actually, kind of in a weird twist is actually kind of good because it is improving my fitness, which is hilarious. So here we go, Triton. We've not been here before, though yes, we did visit Neptune previously. So, uh, barely around the corner, let's see what we've got. Okay, fascinating. Not down on the ground, instead, by the looks of it. The berry mule is right there. Alright, just slow down, say hi, give her a hail. No need to dock or open fire or anything stupid. State your business or stay away. Okay, that was a little bit interesting. Hello, I'm looking for Eric. He's indisposed. You're speaking with Captain Gustavo Valencia, and this ship is under ecliptic control. Oh, that's not necessarily good. So, ooh, okay, before we get anything, let's actually get a good answer as to what ecliptic are, because uh, I know what mercenaries are, uh, but I'd love to get their take on it. We're mercenaries. We get paid to solve problems no one else wants to take up. Much like yourself, I imagine. Okay, they don't have, like, delusions of grandeur or anything. They're just perfectly happy being mercs. So, okay, buddy. I have spoken to the new rightful owner of this ship. I would like to get it back and sort this out peacefully. Interesting. We'll talk. Here on board. Where I have my crew to back me up. Aware that if you try anything, we will not hesitate to fire on you. You may come aboard. Okay, little bit on the potentially concerning side here, but begin docking. We've got a really good shotgun. All right, I am well set up for close quarters combat. Like narrow ship corridors, doorways, ups and downs with ladders. I'm actually pretty bloody good at this sort of thing. So, okay. Let's see if we can sort this out all nice and peaceful, because uh, I need Eric alive, ideally. Hey now, that's close enough. Better think twice before starting trouble. What exactly do you want here? Oh, this is... Okay, this is a lot of people with guns. So, okay, I would like to have a nice chat with you about, like, you know, releasing... Eric, who I'm assuming is that guy down there. So uh, how about we discuss what it is he's actually done or not done? Yeah, and what do you have to say about it? We're getting paid to deliver it back to the trifle owner, and I don't think that's you. I swear, it's it's like I said, that strange ship. I, 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 I was there when she bought it. Hey, shut up and let the adults talk. Now, where were we before this interruption? Oh, bloody hell. This ship was stolen, wasn't it? She did say it wasn't legitimate. I'm guessing these guys are acting on behalf of the rightful bloody owners, so... Okay. It's possible that, yes, this ship was stolen by someone else, and thus multiple people are all legitimately and honestly claiming that they're the rightful owner. That's possible. But even if what you say is true, it's not my problem. We've got to reclaim it for its owner. Sucks for your friend, but we got our orders. So, unless you've got something else to propose, we'll be taking the ship in. Our employer will handle the pilot. 
Okay, we're going to, at the bare minimum, attempt to persuade him, but... Oh, this is getting tricky at this point. If I murder him, obviously I could just get the ship, but... I mean, I feel like, you know, there's a legitimate owner out there, and these guys are taking it back to them, but... We'll give it a go. Try the persuade thing. I'm not convinced this is a good idea. And... Ooh, that's a little bit tricky. That's, what, six blobs in three turns? Uh, we'll give it a go with, yeah, just like, you know, uh, my client, Jane, small business owner. Everybody likes small business owners. Well, this is just another ship to my client. They can afford to take the boss on this one. All right, so uh, let's just move over to uh, a nice easy one. We can now do two nice easy ones, buddy. All right, this would work out very nicely for everybody. If your client barely even cares and my client really cares, everybody wins if you just walk away. I guess they never have to know. That's true. You could just say, hey, we couldn't find it. Got away from us. What can you do, eh? So there's no reason for us to have any problem whatsoever. I'm glad you understand the position I'm in here. You know what? Fine. I'll tell our guy the ship's gone. We get paid either way. This ain't worth the trouble. Just be extra careful out there. If my client ever finds out the truth, we may meet again. And I won't be so cordial. Though I hate the fact that we had to strike a deal with Ecliptic. At the end of the day, you did it to help Jane. Job well done. Oh, did we just resolve that in a way you like and as a result you're wanting to be friends now? Remember our last conversation? When you told me the artifacts made you feel like you were being pulled across the entire galaxy. Well, it got me thinking. So I dove into our archives and started looking through Constellation's older journal entries. Just because I wasn't familiar with the experience you described, doesn't mean the same might have been true for my predecessor. Okay, I suspect we've now been travelling around long enough that yes, the game's just triggered her talking about the main plot, possibly this is leading towards her loyalty mission or something. After reading those journals, all of the pleasant memories of my time spent with Arja just started flooding back. Okay, so I think I may have seen that name written around on a couple of scraps of paper in the lodge, but yes, no one really said anything much about them. Arja was the one that taught me the ropes at Constellation, and took me under her wing as her protégé. Okay, so uh, rookie paired with the chair, being paired with the boss. Yes, indeed, that sounds like a bit of an honour for you. Yeah, I thought so too. That's why I adopted her methods. You know... Arja and I logged quite a few interesting discoveries together, but it was the journey itself that I'll never forget. Okay, interesting. Yes, what did you actually discover while you were floating about? We catalogued unusual stellar phenomena, a few habitable worlds, and some unique life forms, but nothing SSNN would bother to report. Okay, sounds very much like what we're doing here today, in fact. Exactly. For me, it was all about the quieter moments. There was nothing quite like sitting back and watching space bend while listening to Arja spin vivid stories to fill the time. Oh, I find that sort of cozy isolation the best way to really get to know someone. Okay, so... Yes, indeed. Now things have kind of changed around. You're the boss and you're taking me on the journey. At this point, I'd say you've graduated from protégé and moved up the ladder. A bit. You know, all this talk about Arja reminds me that my time with her was a gift. I miss her dearly. Okay, starting to feel like, yes, there might be a little bit more to your relationship than just you are working together, though uh, I won't go saying that out loud just yet, and uh, yes, indeed, bare minimum, where is she these days? No, she retired. Living on Porima 2 now, I think. Come to think of it, if we're ever out that far, perhaps we could pay her a visit and I could make proper introductions. Okay, that sounds interesting. A Prima 2, remember that. Oh, and here we go. We could just keep on flirting. 
I... I don't know if I deserve to be that close to anyone right now. If you knew about the things that I've done, the way my life's unfolded, I think your opinion of me might change. Please, give me some time. I... I, I, I have to go. Oh, tragic backstory. Okay. We know that she used to be, yes, a soldier. Possibly she had to do some rather unpleasant stuff during that time. And uh, right, Eric, me and you have to have a chat about who you stole this cocking ship from. Thanks. I I thought that was going to be it for me. I can't believe you worked out that deal. Jane's going to be happy to get her ship back. Yes, her ship. What on earth happened here, Eric? They said they'd been looking for this ship for months, ever since it was reported stolen. I don't know who it belonged to, but they clearly wanted it back bad enough to call Mercs, not Sistef. Must have had some way of tracking it. Followed me from Mars until we were nowhere near Sistef, I guess? Or just my own bad luck. Okay, let's get out of here before there's any more trouble. But yes, I feel like you have done a very bad thing that almost just caused a lot of bloody trouble for me. Don't make me regret the deal we made. Okay, can't help but be worried that at some point, yes, there was the implication we might be running into this guy again. And uh, next time, yeah, it might not necessarily work out so well for me. Let's just get out of here before he changes his mind. It was stolen? Oh, jeez. I guess it really was too good to be true when I bought it. Anyway, I'm super glad you found my ship and saved Eric. It's more than I could have hoped. I'm glad I asked you instead of relying on Sistef. I never would have seen the Berry Mule again if I did that. So okay, all done and now and... Uh, Jane, given it was apparently yes, too good a price to be true, you must have known this could be the case. No! I mean, I knew the deal I got on it was... Too good to be true, instincts be damned. I probably should have thought about it more, but I had to jump on the offer because my business means everything to me. Guess I know better now. You know what? I'm willing to support you because you are by far the best resource shop I've seen in the game so far. So, okay, does this mean by any chance you're going to expand your inventory? Well, first of all, I'm going to count myself lucky. Then, I'm going to continue building this business. Now that I've got a functioning cargo ship and a pilot, I can really start to bring in some good merchandise. Oh Jane, I feel like me and you can be very good friends. We're going to be doing a lot of business together. You've done me a real solid here. There's really nothing I can do to fully repay you for what you did. Here's what I can afford to pay you. And on top of that, I'll see what I can do to lower the price of anything you want to buy from me. Thanks again. Oh, that is... Blimey, that was a lot of money. Oh, that was a cock ton of money, actually. And a level up, too. Jane, me and you, we're gonna be friends. And... Okay, hang on. Hang on, hang on. Apparently, someone else wants to talk. Hello there, who are you? I'm sorry, I missed a couple of people last time I was here. I found out recently that my favourite book series, Dragonstar Force, had a very limited initial run. I really want to collect all the first editions, but it's hard for me to get them shipped all the way out here. I already tracked down volume one. Could you go buy it and bring it back here for me? I I'll pay you back, of course. Plus, you know, extra for your trouble. I don't care how difficult this is. I am bringing this nerd his first edition book, but... Okay, buddy. Tell me what the Dragon Star Force books are about. Because uh, I'm imagining immediately, like... Dragon Knights, where all the knights ride their own dragons and have their own knightly order and have adventures and jousting contests in the air, etc, etc. They're these old science fiction fantasy books about space and uh, good versus evil and a mysterious magical relic called the Dragon Star. Now, there's this team of heroes who fight space wizards, and dragons, demons, and you know, whoever else seeks to take over the galaxy using the Dragon Star. Okay, my version had dragons jousting, and that makes it better than the real version. But screw it, I will agree to do this. You will? Wow, you're the first person to actually agree to do it. <laughs> Thanks, but like I said, I'll make it worth it to you. You won't regret it. I love you, Mitch. We're gonna make this happen. Media Sponge is the mission. Beautiful, and... Uh, okay, while I'm standing right here, 
with a skill point next to some workbenches and a brand new best friend who's willing to... Oh, yeah. Oh, flipping yeah. Right there. We have got crafting too, though. John, that doesn't let you actually do the crafting. That just lets you unlock the research, so... I really hope there's, like, a research table in, like, you know, the marine base. Hilariously not, because obviously, yes, they've just got the stuff here to get on with weapon and spacesuit maintenance. They don't do their own research. So, okay, back to the ship. I'm sure we'll be seeing you again soon, Jane. Also, Eric, please don't steal any more ships. I will not be rescuing you again, unless Jane asks me to, in which case I will, because Jane's my new best friend. Okay. I think I know where I want to go next. We're heading back to, yes, Alpha Centauri and moseying straight on over to the launch. Because number one, now I've got myself a, yes, a weapon crafting two. Straight over to my weaponry business. I want, hang about, which is a time after here? Yes, magazine and battery mods. This is the good stuff. So... Plenty of lead. I'm wearing some good research stuff. Beautiful. That's flown straight over into... Uh... No, I had titanium. That was the one I bloody had. Game oh dear, oh flipping dear. Right. I need to find cocking adhesive. And internal mods, which sounds rather sexy too. Okay, we are apparently swimming in various bits and pieces for that. So, uh, yep, just shove in that right there. That just got me... Uh... There's the zero wire. Beautiful. Sealant we've definitely got some of, but... Tungsten. Okay, Sarah, by any chance are you holding... Your mom dropped by. We had a nice chat. She, uh, left this note for you. Okay, so my mom occasionally just comes in and leaves me a note. I was going through storage the other day. I came across something that made me think of you. I miss you. Love, mom. I'm gonna go visit my mom as soon as I'm done with this, okay? I just need to check whether Sarah's currently carrying a very large amount of tungsten, because I suspect she is. Gosh darn it, I've burnt through all my bloody tungsten. Basically, yes, we've got the classic Fallout 4 problem, which is I don't have enough cocky duct tape to hold my guns together. But yes, this isn't the only reason I wanted to nip back here, because uh, I left something rather valuable in my room. The highly illegal mech components which I'm pretty sure I don't even need to leave this planet in order to sell. Because if I just nip on over to, yes, this information kiosk here, now I understand, you know, what all these words mean a bit better. The Trade Authority is located on New Atlantis. It's just, you know, being a bit grubby and under the table. It's not in the commercial district like everything else is. It lives down in the well. So today, I think I'd like to go down there and see what's going on in New Atlantis' dark, dingy underbelly. Because I suspect things down there are not good. And even better, I know how to get there. There's a door into it from the basement of the lodge. But, okay, before we do that, can't help but notice that, yes, my mum did apparently find something and think of me and want me to come visit. So naturally, that's what we're doing first. Sweetie, I, I was just thinking of you. You never knew your grand grand, but she's about the only one like you in my whole family tree. Left home at an early age. Well, ran away, really. Became a UC Marine, if you can believe it. Okay, and apparently, yeah, you've never talked about her before. Really? Well, I, I suppose it's ancient history. I only met Grandma a few times. Oh, she was fierce. I swear, her eyes almost glowed. Every time I saw her, she'd drill me on math. If I got her questions correct, she'd give me a treat. Once, I got them all right and answered her bonus question, and she smiled. The only time I ever saw her do that. Most formidable woman I have ever met. Okay, so please tell me you're about to give me a maths quiz. Because I think I'm actually pretty good at doing fast mental maths. So I am ready for this, Mama. Well, I was going through storage and I found her old armor. I... I think she'd like you to have it. You have that same thing. You're forging your own path, not just letting life toss you this way and that. This is the best trait of the game. This is wonderful. And apparently marine armor's pretty good too. It's a family heirloom. And it's perfect. It goes to you. Oh, 
Enough of this. I don't want to make a scene. You need anything, sweetie? I really bloody love my parents in this game. They're marvelous. Okay, this is slightly embarrassing and undermines the moment a bit, but, um, Grand Grand Spacesuit is, um, yes, like, worse than my existing armor in every way. Though it is pocketed. So, it's five. Five extra weight capacity. Now, the helmet, however, is a bit more interesting, because, yes, my two legendary helmets are honestly not that interesting in all sorts of ways, but... Sensor array. I have no idea what that means. But I know precisely where I can check right here in the lodge. Yes, indeed. Sensor array. So, right. Increases the range for enemy detection on compass. I was kind of hoping for recon, but I guess I would have been, yes, hoping for a bit too much. Oh, the while I'm here, yes, my bolstering spacesuit that is pretty good. Uh, apparently, I could just, yes, make that stronger at dealing with physical uh, pretty bloody easily. Bit of fiber, bit of cosmetic, no trouble whatsoever. And Grand Grand's helmet, same basic deal, lovely. But okay, here we go. It's the same. I've got a feeling this is not necessarily going to be the nicest bit of the city. Right, I think I'm down in the sewer. I'm going to be honest, I'm keeping this on because I'm not feeling good about, you know, the possibility of, uh, I don't know, giant rats, sewer mutants, something of that nature, potentially. Life just gets better and better here. There's a mysterious table covered in, okay, if we're lucky, chunk special sauce and not blood, but, okay, we appear to just have a, a secret exit, hopefully into, like, you know, a, a chunks restaurant and... Sarah, what the cock is going on with this door? In which case, oh, hang on. I know how we can check how to get to the well. I've got an activity to investigate the brownouts. Oh, there we flipping go. Got you, you bastard. So, right. The completely unmarked, unsigned elevator round the back of, uh, yes, the tourist shop right here. Fascinating, though. Okay, before we go down there, John, do not forget... We're actually sitting on, yeah, a pretty good amount of money right now. Meaning, oh my goodness, okay. My ship does look rather dramatic when it's dark out. That's nice. Yes, buddy. So I can't modify this ship in any way. I can't improve it. I can't add new bits onto it until it's registered. So register ship for 7,597 credits. I will very gladly do that. That is a marvelous, though... Hang on, when you say its value is... Have I gone bananas? Or was its value, like, way higher than that? Just like the other day. I swear its value was... Wait, hang on a minute. Oh, you mean the value you would actually write. So you would buy the ship for, like, 15% of its value, but just registering it costs 10%. So, okay. I can see how piracy might not necessarily be the most profitable thing in the world just because uh, you've got to pay the government about as much money as you can get for selling the ship just to register it so you're allowed to legally sell or indeed do any modifications uh, whatsoever. I'm beginning to understand why, like, every other person in the galaxy has either broken away from the UC or is a pirate that constantly attacks the UC on sight. Like, the UC bureaucracy may be a bit overbearing. But now we can start making some improvements, though I do not have that much money. Oh, and horrifyingly, yes, these parts are Tayo, the kind of, you know, nice red Star Trek ones. Uh, but apparently, yes, I can't actually buy those. So, uh, okay, hold off doing a major modification to this thing for now. Instead, to focus on a yes, what we definitely need, which is, uh, hang about, cargo. Lovely. Now, we've got one of you plugged on, yes, that side already. So, okay, you, buddy, just to flip that, we can definitely have another one over you. Bit of extra support on the top, even more cargo, and yeah, the shield's had to move up onto the tiny bit of a structure here. And as I can just afford it, let's give the shield just a tiny bit more pizzazz. If I need to, yeah, put the power into that. Okay, I'm feeling much better about my new ship. Now it's like, you know, registered and legally belongs to me and whatnot. Let's go check out the well. Okay, well, this is just embarrassing. Apparently, New Atlantis is just filled with bloody regions I didn't know about. So, 
What the cock is the waterfall promenade? When things at the lodge are too much. I love coming to this spot to just sort of, I don't know, melt away for a while. Okay, I think it might just be, you know, a, a nice area you could come and look at if you want. And apparently Sarah likes stuff here, though. Okay, hang on. There must be something going on at the end of it, right? Okay, apparently not. It's just a nice area that Sarah likes coming to visit where you could buy some chunks from the vending machine and enjoy the view of the waterfall, if that's a thing you want to do. Okay, that was the nice bit of the city. Now down to the horrific slama. Oh, that's more cocking like it. I found the horrific slum underbelly. Beautiful. So, okay. Things are, um, yes, definitely looking a bit more dodgy down over here. Gotcha. By the way, Sergeant Yumi was looking for you. Apparently, he's got some work. Oh, better and better. Apparently, Yumi's got something for me next time I pass by. Okay, I like that job. By which I mean, I didn't really like that job. But it paid very well for a job that took like two and a half minutes. So, okay. This is apparently, yes, the sort of neighbourhood where there is a ridiculous heavy-duty blast door between the general public and the local police officers. So, okay. That's, um, that's what we're dealing with here. Gotcha. And here's what we were looking for. Okay. The Trade Authority. It's got its big main thing going on down here. We've also got Apex Electronics, all sorts of other bits and pieces. So, okay. If we want to potentially, you know, do a bit of a buying and selling of the less legal kind, uh, this is where we want to do it. And uh, I'm really happy I just said that out loud, because I just remembered I'm carrying a legal contraband on me right now. Welcome to the Trade Authority. If you're here on legitimate business, I would be more than happy to help you. If, however, you are here under false pretense, say, sent by one Miss Tsang of UC Distribution, then I'm afraid you'll find nothing illegitimate here to report to her. And I'd ask that you pass along my request to stop these silly games. So, what'll it be? Okay, kind of in the middle, actually, which is illegitimate business, but like not as part of an entrapment scheme. I literally just want to, you know, sell you the illegal goods. And I'm going to give you a damn good price. Like, I am being taken for a ride in this game. You are getting them for, like, 10% of the value. Also, okay, could you maybe, like, turn around and face me at some point or another? Okay, I feel like I'm getting a better price than I got for the other contraband. So, I'll flip and take it. That's fine. I'm a bit low on funds right now. Okay, nothing I urgently need, but, um, yes. Can I but notice? Samson's art is in her infantry. I don't know who Samson is, but I'm guessing at some point we'll be, yes, coming back to talk to you about that. Even in the well, the trade authority continues to flourish. Oh, makes you sick, doesn't it? Okay, Sarah, I feel like me and you are not on the same page on this. Oh, hang on. The well. That's why it's called the well. That waterfall that, yes, the snooty upper city people, like Sarah, for example, just like, you know, looking at to feel better. This is literally where the well is. It's behind the waterfall, just above where the water collects. Got it. Okay, there's a lot of shops around here, and yes, indeed. Our first sign of a church, House of the Enlightened. So, okay. We'll get back to that later. I'd say yes as a priority. Do not forget the reason we're down here in the first place. We're supposed to be helping out with power. And apparently Louise is the person to speak to about that. Hey! Oh, you're not Garl. Sorry, I shouldn't assume. Maybe you go by Garl. You're just not the Garl I was waiting for. We're supposed to be investigating a power drain down here. People have been reporting brownouts for a while. And Mass finally decided to follow up on it. I can't be in two places at once, and Carl isn't here, so I'm just trying to look inconspicuous. I enjoy how someone is just stuck bethesda against you during this conversation. We're trying to isolate a power drain, which looks like it's the result of a large amount of power being rerouted through various subsystems. But it's kind of a two-person job. Someone needs to find the junction boxes associated with those subsystems and power them down. The other person needs to monitor the system remotely, it's pretty simple, really, and relatively safe. Only a small chance of electrocution. 
And I'm guessing you want to be the person who, yes, just stands perfectly still eating pies and watching the grader while I'm the one that does the running around. What I need isn't very technical. I can talk you through it remotely. I'm gonna head to the monitoring station. The first box we're looking for is over near UC Surplus. You know, Antonio's place. I can contact you once you get there. Okay, I think I saw UC Surplus. That was right by the entrance over in this direction. So, okay, I'm guessing she's gonna call me on like my, I don't know, space radio or something. Anyway, this over here, this looks about right. Hey, can you hear me? I think this is working. I only have a general view of things, but you should be near the first junction box. Look for it mounted on the wall. When you find it, open it up and flip the big switch. When you say big switch, there's like a bunch of little switches. Hang on, is there like a big... Is that the big switch on the right? Okay, I'm just going to start pushing buttons. That's it. Great job. So, that tripped the secondary breaker, and that goes to... Oh, wow, really? They wired it like that? Jeez, okay. Okay, got it. Next one is way down past Jake's. And maybe up a story or two? It's a bit of a hike. Sorry. Okay, Jake's I think I saw hang on down in this direction. So yeah, you've also got medical in it here. Okay, this is just a really good way of just, you know, introducing the area, I suppose. So yeah, you've got Jake's bar right over here. And then... Okay, well this is here, but... Right, not that one. I'll be, yeah, down later. So she said up a bit. Just got to find my way... Here we go. Now that needs a key. Hang on. Gotta be a way to get up somewhere. Here we go. Move over in this direction. Keep an eye out for the relevant box. All right. You should be near the next junction box. This section isn't used very much these days, so it may be a little harder to see. Right. Might need to potentially do a little bit of lock picking while we're moseying about. Right. First ring is only, yes, four, meaning it's got to be the two and the two. This is, yeah, the easiest hack to my mind uh, to make sure you get it right. Just count the number of uh, total rings and then pretty much you can't get it too far wrong. Then just double check that's as it should be. Yes and yes. I really rather like this particular... Oh, blimey. I think I may have accidentally just stumbled into a murder, by the way. Oh, okay, things are- Oh, 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 whoa, 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 okay, hang on. Everything's- everything's just gone a bit, bit wrong. Bit wrong here, bit wrong here, bit, bit wrong, bit wrong. There's a level- there's a level 25 giant- I didn't mean to, like, disturb the giant robots. I didn't mean to do whatever it is I've just done. And also, okay, whoever Topher is, I'll just be helping myself to, uh, all of this. Got Topher's key, etc., etc. Guess I'll be helping myself to Topher's lovely money as well. I feel like I wasn't supposed to come in here. Okay, it turns out it was, um, yes, right here behind this thing and I wasn't supposed to. Let's just not mention that to anybody. Let's just push the switch and move on. That's the one. Next one's not too far. Dead end. Right down from Jake's. Right under that apartment they've been trying to sell. Good luck with that, right? Ooh. Apartment, you say? And yes, I'm pretty sure I know which one we're going to this time. Just to shove that in there. Another switch flipped, another lead to follow. And the lights in here just flickered too. The wiring is worse than I thought. I'm going to work on fixing that little issue while you find the next junction box. Looks like it's over near the... Uh... The trade authority. Alright, pretty sure that's just back in this direction. There we flipping go. Uh, maybe it'll talk to anyone about Oh, am I doing some form of crime? I may be doing a crime. I'm not sure about that. Okay, the final box I need you to deal with should be right around there. Unfortunately, I just realized you're in for a real tangle of cabling. Like 200 years of Phil and Dems to rewire things. I tried to fix it three years back and was crying by the second day. Gave up on the third. Anyway, there should be a series of secondary breakers you need to deal with before you can access the junction box. I don't remember the order. But flip levers until all those circuits are powered down. Okay, and if I don't do it in the right order, by any chance do I get electrocuted? So, okay, can't just bypass this. Push button. Okay, one, two. Well, they all seem to be powered down so far. Except, oh, hang on. No, it's not these. It's this up here. So, okay. 
That is, wait, two and four. That just turned two, yeah, it flicks between one and two. Then that is, well, they're all off. And there we flip and go, nice and easy. Well, you got it. Really well done. You saved me like a week of work. Why didn't you meet me at the monitoring station near where we met? Okay, nice and easy, and yes, now I've got a much better idea how this neighborhood all fits together. Lovely. And here we go, this apparently is Louise's office. Did I say thank you? Because thank you. There's no way I could have done that in a reasonable amount of time all by myself. I'm guessing, however, that yes, the money's not necessarily going to be that good down in the well. Thanks to your help, I was able to trace the power drain. I know where it's coming from. Unfortunately, the source is exactly where I was afraid it was. The trade authority. So, that's something that I'll need to deal with. That'll be fun. If you want to tag along, I certainly wouldn't complain. But if not, then this is where we part ways. Oh, so... I mean, that's more money than I was expecting. Jess, I suspect at this point... She's now going to be, uh, yes, moseying along to have a chat with the lovely folks of the Trade Authority who probably play a little bit rough with people who annoy them. So, okay, we've made our way down to the dark, grimy underbelly of New Atlantis, so how about we call it apart there? But next time, oh yeah, we're going to be exploring this area a bit. Helping out with the Trade Authority, checking out the church, and, uh, if I had to guess, very likely getting myself mixed up with some rather dubious dealings. So, a whole bunch of crime coming up soon. Hopefully, you are looking forward uh, to that. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd. And this has been Starfield. Thank you very much, and goodbye. Ah, we have got a gate key here, and then we have got a... I've made a mistake, I've made a mistake, I've made a mistake, I've made a mistake! This is going to take all of my skill and cunning as a hunter to sort out... Die, you moving bastards! Die! Die! Go, go away. Go away, nobody likes you. That was a good idea till it wasn't.